Your cufflinks. They're beautiful. I had to treat fellow travelers like I was doing four separate shows because our stories are interwoven so seamlessly. Any particular shooting day, you can be shooting the 1950s in the morning and then 86 in the afternoon. H and F. What's it stand for? Take off your jacket. My name is Joseph Lacourt, and I'm the costume designer on Fellow Travelers. I read the book in 12 hours, and the story grabbed me immediately. It was important to stay as historically accurate as possible. Before anyone says anything, you want to be able to identify where we're at. So how are things in Washington? Must be exciting there, all the political intrigue. In my eyes, there was always a cloud over Washington. So the colors are very browns and grays and blues and stormy. And then as we slowly progress through the decades, there becomes a little bit more color until we get to the 80s with vibrant colors. Even though we are going into a sadder time, there's just always a glimmer of hope. It was quite intense what people went through and how they had to hide. Oh! In the 50s, one of the well-known ways that queer people communicated was to single to one another that you were gay. You coordinated your socks, your pocket square, and your tie. And if they were all the same, that was an indicator for people in the know. There are little beats of that inside of our show. Hawkins Fuller, you're at the wrong party. Your man's a Democrat. I'm neutral, like Switzerland. Hawk is powerful and charismatic. He's in really cool colors and grays and blues. Hawk is always put together to a T. And Tim is just a young kid from Staten Island who doesn't have much. He has a couple sport coats and like two shirts. And you just keep cobbling that combination together because back then everyone had a small closet unless you were wealthy. And Tim definitely is not. And so even that dynamic when they're standing next to each other, you can definitely tell who's the stronger person in, in the couple just by what they're wearing. Your front door was open. And then we jump into 1986. Hawk is married now, he's got kids. He feels a little more secure, so he's a little bit braver in his color choices. This is Marcus. Don't tell him my secrets. He's a stinking, rotten commie journalist. And a damn good one at that. Marcus is pretty guarded and still figuring himself out through the 50s, so he plays it pretty safe and pretty classic. What about you? You need something, baby? To the flip side, where Frankie is very happy to be gay, very happy to be himself, and he chooses bold colors and works as a dry queen, which gave great opportunity for him to show even more of his flamboyancy and his commitment to being himself. I can handle myself. The question is, can you handle me? Drag queens weren't what drag queens are today. They put on makeup, but they didn't look just like a woman. There was a little more androgyny in it, so we tried to be as authentic as we could to what they did back then. Be careful, I might get used to this. Used to? Walking into a room on your arm. Lucy comes from a very patrician family. She's got money, she's got notoriety, so it was important for us to make sure we conveyed that without even saying anything. Lucy. You're everything to me. If I was everything, you wouldn't be going where you're going. When I got this job, I instantly triggered back to when I was 13 or 14 years old. And being a gay person, I just never imagined being that young that I would be designing clothes. I have had an incredible crew to work with who worked day and night to make sure that our project is the best that it can be. It's been such a great collaboration. I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky.